going to talk about trash. Do you know what trash is? Trash is unwanted or discarded material or objects. Did you know what Americans throw away every day weighs seven pounds? Have you ever held a bowling ball? What we throw away every day is about that heavy. Have you looked in your trash can lately? Is what's in there really unwanted? Should it be discarded? The number one thing Americans throw away is food. We throw away more than 26 million tons of food every year. Asteroids from space that threaten cities only weigh about 200 tons. That's a lot of food wasted. Can you guess what else we throw away by the millions of tons? Clothes and shoes. When you think about the definition of trash, unwanted, discarded, should food and clothes be what we talk about? One quarter of kids in Washoe County where you live might not get breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. That's a good reason to really think about our definition of trash. We know when we throw away trash, it doesn't really go away. So where does our trash go? It goes to the landfill. A landfill is a hole that gets filled up with trash and is sealed so nothing seeps into nearby waterways. In Washoe County, our trash goes to the Lockwood Landfill. In the winter, 4,000 tons of trash goes to the landfill per day. That's like throwing away more than 700 elephants every day. In the summer, 5,000 tons of trash goes to the landfill every day. Do you know why there's so much more trash in the summertime? Because people are mowing lawns and doing yard work and throwing away all that grass and branches. Do you know of other ways people can dispose of their yard or green waste? Have you heard of composting? Composting is piling up grass, leaves, and vegetables until they break down back into dirt you can use on your lawn or garden. When our landfill is full, it will be more than 300 feet deep. That's enough room to stack 17 giraffes, and it will be longer than 150 football fields. That might seem like a lot of room, but with 700 elephants going in there every day, it's going to fill up fast. How do we keep the landfill from being filled up? By observing the three R's. Do you know what the three R's are? Reduce, reuse, recycle. That's right. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. What are some items I can recycle? Let's talk about aluminum. Items like soda cans are made from aluminum. Do you know where aluminum comes from? Aluminum is made from bauxite, a natural resource found in Africa and Australia. Do you know how many times aluminum can be recycled? Infinitely. And it takes only about six weeks for an aluminum can to go from a recycling bin like yours to a store shelf again. How about tin? That's another kind of can. What cans are tin? Tin cans hold things like fruit, tuna fish, and cranberry sauce. Tin cans are actually mostly steel, 90%, but are lined with tin so the food inside doesn't taste like metal. How do you know that a can is tin? Try seeing if a magnet will stick to it. If it does, it's tin. Do you know how many times tin can be recycled? Indefinitely. Okay, let's talk about glass. Do you know what glass is made out of? Sand. And do you know how many times glass can be recycled? That's right, infinitely. What about paper? Do you know what paper's made out of? That's right, paper is mostly made from trees. And do you know how many times paper can be recycled? Paper starts to break down after five or six trips through the recycling center, but the older paper can be mixed with new paper so it doesn't get wasted. Now let's talk about plastic. Do you know what plastic is made out of? Plastic is made from oil. Do you know how many times plastic can be recycled? Not infinitely, like glass, aluminum, or tin. In fact, depending on the type of plastic, it can only be recycled three or four times. When you think about recycling and reusing, how does plastic compare as a choice with aluminum, tin, and glass? What kinds of reusable containers could you use instead of plastic? Glass water bottles. Steel water bottles. Canvas shopping bags. Can you recycle all kinds of plastic? In many places, including Reno and Sparks, there are only certain types or numbers of plastic that can be recycled. Do you know how to tell what type of plastic you have? Turn over your plastic container and look for the three arrow recycling symbol. In the center should be a number, and that number will tell you whether you can recycle your plastic in your waste management curbside bin, or if you have to take it somewhere like Whole Foods for recycling. You can always check ktmb.org too, if you are not sure how to recycle your plastic. Okay, we've talked about trash in the landfill and recycling, but what do we call unwanted items that don't end up in a trash can or a recycling bin? Litter. That's right, litter. Litter can be prevented by putting trash in the can where it belongs. It seems like throwing trash on the ground is no big deal, but because someone has to pick it up, it can clog drains or otherwise cause problems. Litter ends up costing us big money. Litter is also ugly. Think about your favorite place to play. Can you imagine that space full of empty cans and plastic shopping bags? 
And when your friends or family come to your city to visit, do you want them to see your beautiful park or the Truckee River or a bunch of litter? It's hard to show off your home when there's trash everywhere. Even worse, litter is very bad for wildlife. Fish and other animals get tangled in all kinds of litter and think about what a plastic bag does to an animal that accidentally eats it. Also, some litter takes hundreds or even thousands of years to biodegrade or break down into nothing. So it'll still be ugly and dangerous for your grandkids and their grandkids. When people discard large amounts of litter, they're doing something called illegal dumping. Have you ever gone out driving or riding a horse where no one lives and see a couch, TV, or a pile of tires? That's illegal dumping. Not only is it ugly and dangerous, it's against the law. People caught illegally dumping have to pay a fine or even go to jail. That's how important it is to put trash where it belongs. The Sheriff's Office even has a hotline to report illegal dumping. 329-DUMP. So what can I do? What can I do? Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Yes, reduce your waste. What are some ways that you can reduce waste at school and at home? Talk to your parents and your teachers about tracking what you buy and how much of that goes into the trash. Take a look at the packaging on items you buy and buy things with the least amount of packaging. Take your own bags when you go shopping. Which leads to reuse. How do you already reuse items at home? Maybe your parents or teachers reuse items every day and don't even think about it. What do you already recycle at home and at school? You can also volunteer for a cleanup in your community or organize a cleanup of your own at school or in your neighborhood. You might think that you don't have a voice in your community and that one person, one kid can't make a difference. You are a waste warrior and you are making a big difference. I am a waste warrior. I am a waste warrior. I am a waste warrior. I'm a waste warrior. You are a waste warrior. Together we can keep Chucky Meadows beautiful. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Hi, I'm Beth Isaiah, the Trash Lady, and I've been talking to students like you for over 20 years about recycling and waste reduction. I've brought my globe, I've had it since I was 13 years old, to every Trash Lady presentation I've ever done. I use it as an example that whenever we think about throwing anything away, it will go into the air or the ground or the water. There is no away. Let's remember to always reduce, reuse, and recycle so that we can all pledge to become waste warriors and keep our part of the globe, the Truckee Meadows, beautiful. <laughs>